Welcome back. There's new life for a once closed school in Hibbing. And some of the learning techniques are cutting edge. Renee Passal has that story. The first day of school can be exciting for any age, but at Victory Christian Academy, the whole school was a buzz for their first day in their new building. It's a dream realized, so we're actually living our future. This has been, we've been planning and planning for this day. The former St. Leo's school had been vacant for about a decade. VCA was interested, but the price wasn't right. Then it came down, papers were signed in April of 2013, and not a moment too soon because they had outgrown their old building. It's just bigger and better and it's more fun to do stuff and we're not all cramped together. That we get to have a better playground. I love it. Why do you love it? Because we get our own gym and it's big. The first time we actually have a reading corner where the kids can have their downtime and just take a book and go sit and relax and read and we can just, we have plenty of room to move around. They were all moving around and getting used to the new layout on this first day. I wanted to get back to school because I hadn't been able to see some of my friends this summer and because it's a great opportunity to get more cadets for the Civil Air Patrol that I go to. Here at VCA, they have a unique learning setup for their 7th through 12th graders. Everyone, like Bjorn here, who you've already met, has an individualized workstation, and they use a program called Ignitia. It allows students to learn at their own pace. Teachers help when needed, of course, but the sky is the limit in terms of advancing through the coursework. And they're going to excel at their rate that they can. For some fun group work, there's this conference room where the table itself can be converted to a ping pong table. They just wanted the kids to have some surprises. The goal is to keep learning for eternity in a space Joe Terska calls a miracle. And so now we have the ability to be able to grow, and that's the, that's the fun part. And the fun has just begun. In Hibbing, I'm Renee Passal for Eyewitness News. They have around 100 students enrolled this year, but still have room for almost double that.